Hey man, so this bulkhead, we first started with um, these drawings. This is the millwork drawing. Uh, it's a 2D and then we have the 3D, it's like a render. And this is the finish that they desired, okay? And there's another rendering right there, gives you an idea of what they want uh, it to look like in the end, right? And now this here is, give, is millwork shop drawings. <clears throat> so you can see there's a 185 inch panel, a 69 inch panel and then there's a middle part here uh, which I had to lay out for them to get that number and then the, a 92 inch panel here this angled panel will be uh, this angled part right at the middle there at the bend which you'll see in a second and that uh, will be like 44 inches so <clears throat> from the drawings you can see all right the bulkhead starts back at this bathroom wall here and it continues all the way around and it wraps across this full height wall in, into the into this demising wall. Okay, there's a big build in the middle. They don't give you really, like they give you an idea, right? But you can't build it like this, it won't work, okay? So you have to design it uh, as you go, right? See like this middle part here, for example? I'll show you how I did it. So the first thing you gotta do, the lines are long gone now, but you lay it out on the floor. Okay, you, you snap it out and lay out uh, your, all your bulkheads. There's going to be uh, a combination of bulkheads on this one. So you lay it all out. Okay, and um, verify it with the mill worker, whatever. And then you just laser it up and it becomes this. Right, you can see there's a measure, there's a there's a different measurement running into this wall even than there is on the rest of the returns. All right, so it's simple, uh, simple as that. Laying it out first is a huge, important deal. Okay, um, first step you're gonna do. I'm gonna take you up on the lift right now, and I'm gonna explain to you step by step how I do this. Okay, now your second step you have to do is pick, is set your elevations. All right, so on this this bulkhead here, you can see I've decided to drop the, the first three and five eighths below this two and a, double two and a half. So I've come down quite a bit, if you can see, right? So on the, on the blueprints, it would have shown it stopping at this elevation and then coming out, but that's just not that's not how you would do it, right? So you drop the three and five eighths lower, and this is all 20, <clears throat> excuse me, this is all 25 gauge steel. Okay, so but what you need to do, all right, is set an elevation for your back bulkhead, this support bulkhead, this three and five eighths, and then you got this double, uh, double two and a half here. You want this top elevation, which is consistent, which is, it's nice, it's consistent the whole way around. And then this bottom, this bottom elevation, okay, which is not consistent. It goes uh, across here to that build out and then it drops four inches across, comes back up four inches and then finishes around that finishing wall. Okay, so establish your, establish and benchmark your elevations. Somewhere where you can set your line laser. I decided to set it on this furring wall because I was able to set it on this side for this half of the wall, and then I could set it on the other side of that furring wall to capture the return. Okay, now another line, you gotta set up another line laser to shoot the plane, I call it the plane, which is the face, uh, where you want whatever bulkhead you're working on. Okay, so the first one is the back three and five eighths wall, right? You're shooting it all the way up to structure, and you're gonna install your top track and do your and draw your 16s, okay? Same thing across here. You gotta add your top track, blah blah blah, your 16s. 
So uh, uh, it's simple, right? You're, you know how to build a bulkhead, okay? You're pinning up, you're, you're using a pin laser to pin up all your corners and uh, in, your, in like the ends, okay? Um, once you've got this back bulkhead built, it's the easy part, okay? That's the easy part. You just gotta do some math ahead of time and design, design it. So you can see what I decided to do here is use a three and five eighths and sticking, and sticking it out. This is light gauge angle, but I, I ordered 20 gauge or I wanted 20 gauge, but they gave me light gauge, so, but I would still, I would recommend the 20 gauge angle as well as the, with the 20 gauge steel, okay? That's one thing that is di uh, different on this. Uh, the 20 gauge angle, this wouldn't even matter right here. This wouldn't even matter, okay? But now when I'm screwing this in, I gotta be careful. Like, I don't wanna screw it in uh, here somewhere, okay? But, um, okay, so, moving on. Uh, yes, and then and then I've decided to drop my double two, two and five eighths um, uh, below it, attaching it to the three and five eighths stud. Okay, that's my support. It's so strong, it's not going anywhere, okay guys? So what I do is I cut this, this uh, as many all the pieces that I need exactly to the size. So basically, it goes to the back of the 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 three and five, and right to the front, right to the front of the double two and five. Okay, that you want. And I'm checking it. I have the laser going so I can check it when I'm installing these. But you see, first I do is I shoot the elevation onto this back three and five eighths wall. I shoot it on every stud and square it across. Okay, uh, that way all I got basically all I got to do is make sure that each piece is on that line, like it like they are. Okay, and they see how close they come out to the front. Okay, when I'm when I'm uh, there's a process to doing this as well. Okay, so if I drop down a little bit, you got to do the, you have to do the back, the back bulkhead first before the front one. Okay, so what I do is I go this way and then back. Okay, with the, with this one. That way I stagger my 10 foot pieces of track. You, okay, you can see the joint is not here. Okay, this, the, the first 10 foot joint is down there and then this one is here. All right, but there's also another reason when you're doing this first bulkhead back here You can screw in the back the front and back of the stud on all sides Okay, and when you do this front one you can only screw in the fronts Okay, you won't be able to get a, a screwdriver in the back But that is fine because this back back one is perfect and when you drywall you're screwing it in on this side in the front It's perfect. Okay um <clears throat> I'm adding braces in between, okay, so they don't move at the bottom, okay? I'm adding braces in between, obviously, okay? Uh, same thing as usual. You can see behind here, I put a clip, okay? So I've got a clip at the top for the back bulkhead. That What I mean by clip is it's a piece of steel, like a stud, that I cut to fit in between the, in between the studs to drop, and, drop the bulkhead, screw that stud into, and then come off with bottom track. All right, you can see I got clips. Some some places where the steel is the other way, I cap it with track like this, okay? That way I can screw uh, whatever I need to screw onto it. You'll see that in a few places as well, okay? So simple as that. <clears throat> Do the back bulkhead first, screw it front and back all the way so it's super strong. And this whole time, you guys know how to do it, right? You just, you drop a, you drop one stud here, one in the middle, and one at the start, right? You put your track on at elevation, screw it off, square it off, and then you, then you put the rest of your studs in. Same thing with the top three and five, right? You just, you come out, you drop a stud in the middle, drop a stud near the end of the 10 foot track, get your, get your uh, bottom track on at uh, elevation, and square it all up. <clears throat> all right, moving on. This, this bulkhead, this middle piece here, okay, it drops, it comes out, out four inches and drops four inches. So uh, basically what we're doing is we lasered up the end, okay, right here, where we stopped our steel on. And when we, when, well, the first thing I did here is this. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter. All right, so same thing. I'm, I've, I've screwed... To, uh, I've screwed three and five eight stud to the to the middle, and I've squared it. I shot my elevation up before, right? But now the stud's just a bigger size, so I've built this like sideways kind of wall. If you see, this is my outline. So now all I got to do is drop it, 
drop it and, and square it out using my tape measure and framing it. Okay, so you got, you see what I'm saying, right? We got the three and five eighths structural one dropped below, which is perfectly fine. It's running down the middle on the inside. I've got clips on the ends, so I drop the, I put this on, and, and I, I got a line laser shooting this, this plane, right? I got a line laser shooting the front here, and, a, and I'm shooting it at the back as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I, what I do is uh, I install my top track here. Same thing, drop it, build, it's like building another bulkhead on the back, okay? Build the bulkhead, put the bottom track on, put the bottom track on, sh uh, shooting elevation as well, okay? Um, and then I, I don't even need to, I just have to come out, come out to the front, do the same thing, drop another bulkhead at the front. Okay, so it's just another bulkhead. <clears throat> I got these clips put in after, okay, to uh, secure this all together so it's not going anywhere, right? Um, but you can see lots of backing for drywall. It's, then it's like a soffit. It's just like a soffit um, underneath, okay? You see that? It's just like a soffit or a ceiling, okay? Same, same shit, but all I'm gonna do is, is measure the, is do it, keep it the same width as it is at the top. Okay, if I've lasered in my top, all I gotta do is use my tape measure for the bottom to square it over. Um, boom, boom, boom. Okay, oh, yeah, and of course you can see the bracing added to the main bulkhead as well, to this back to structure. Okay, I got braces coming back. I got three on this side and uh, uh, that's enough. It's good, okay. Moving on here. Sorry, guys. You guys can screw off or and stuff. It's or whatever you want. It's fine. I, it shouldn't bother me at all. Okay. All right. So you can see here's the other side. Same thing. Okay. Uh, it's just a it's just a uh, like a like a soffit here. Okay. And like I'm squaring it across and I'm I'm checking elevation. Okay. Uh, and I'm shooting this way as well, and I'm pin lasering up my corners so that my corners are all lined up. Okay, and then this one here is simple. It's a four inch return. It's just a four inch return. So it'll come four inches this way and underneath. Okay, that's it. And it sticks out behind. It just sticks out a little bit behind if you can see here. Holy. Uh, am I like... Oh, oh okay. And at the end, right, you're capping it with this three and five. This top, or the, uh, the, top, the three and five at the top, you're capping it with your angle, your inch and a quarter by inch and a half angle. Same thing, these, these corners here, all I'm doing is pin lasering these corners up. So I do this side, okay? <clears throat> all right. Then I jump over here and I and I build this section. This one's a, a little bit. This is a different like width, okay? But that's all based on your layout at the bottom. All right. So these top three and five pieces that I've uh, squared across on the main bulkhead are a different size. But that's that's no that's not the point. I pin laser up this corner right here, okay? Just like I do with the with the original bulkhead. Boom, boom. Return it. Boom, boom. Right. I'm pin lasering up this side, or that, I'm starting on this side here, and then I come over here and pin up this side and build out, and then what I do is I, I, I actually for all my track, so all of this bottom track here, I'm cut on the ground, okay, uh, based on my layout. That way I can get my corners and everything uh, perfectly cut, so same shit. So then I, then I put the middle on. And it's simple. If I just check one side with the laser and it's good on the other side, you know you're good. Uh, but it, it always, it's so nice, right? So you can see I've cut one, two, three different tracks. All right, one, two, three. And then the two bottom tracks here, right? Oh, I guess, and then the fourth up there, but you can see, right, there's, uh, there's three bulkheads here. And that's it, guys. So I'm gonna put backing in it right now. And same thing when you're coming off the wall, okay? I'm just screwing the studs to the wall to secure my bottom track. I'm, I'm drawing my 16s, okay? I even lay my 16s out on the ground so that I can shoot them up and, uh, for the main bulkhead here between all of the, like all of the cutouts and the cuts and stuff, right? I can shoot whatever one I want up. But that's her, boys. Woo! All right.